Hey Rat Bags, it's Jay today giving you a quick guide to Essence in Nightingale. Essence is the lifeblood of Nightingale. It's the currency that you'll earn and basically use to upgrade your weapons as well as buy resources, new recipes and pretty much repair everything you have. So if you find this video useful, do check out the rest of my guides and previews. This is preview footage still. The UI has changed with the new version and a whole bunch more. But certainly nothing's really going to change too much with how the essences work for the full release. So you'll find it in your menu. You can check out the essences bar on the top here and it'll show all the different types that you have. There are four different essence types. You've got essence dust and you've got tier one essence, tier two, tier three. And it's a really simple premise. When you kill creatures, when you harvest stuff, they've got a chance of dropping either essence dust in the first realm that you'll be in, the anti uh, abeyance I think it is. Yes, the abeyance. Tier one essence will be in the tier one realms, which are the antiquarian, the astrolabe, the provisioner. Tier two essence will be in the gloom, herbarium and hunt realms. And tier three essence you only can find in the ascended realms once you've made your way to a certain end part of the game called the watch. So if you want to upgrade your gear to uncommon, which is green, then you are going to need a lot of the tier one essence. You can craft an upgrade bench and it will give you the ability to upgrade. If you want to get the next level and upgrade to rare items, you'll need the refined upgrading bench. And if you want to get to all purple gear and epic gear, you'll need to get the excellent upgrade bench. Again, something you only get at the end game. Every upgrade costs 40 essence, regardless of what level. Each upgrade that you do using these essences and this bench, you will increase obviously the base stats of that item. So you can see here my rare Webley revolver does range damage of 1012. We go ahead and upgrade it to the epic version. I've added over 335 or 38 damage to it. So that's what Essence does in terms of upgrading your gear. You'll have to repair all of your items with Essence Dust. So it becomes a point of always having a good amount. And every resource that you have can be broken down into Essence Dust. If we get some regular plant fiber here, the most basic version, we can go ahead and we can extract it and I'll get 98 Essence Dust. Some items will give you more, but the baseline is that you always get one essence dust for every item that you break down. And then you can go ahead and repair. Now, as your items become better and upgraded, they will become more expensive to go and repair. You're also better off leaving items until they absolutely need repairing, as it's still the same cost, whether or not it's right at the bottom, or I do believe towards the like being new, unless things change. But again, there you go, I've just repaired it. So if you ever break a weapon or an item and you really need it, then you only got to run around gathering some fibers or some basic stuff to go ahead and dismantle. To complete a full set of upgrades on armor, you're gonna need 280 essence. So that's uncommon, then obviously the rare, and then the epic. Your weapons are the same thing. It'll cost 40 essence to go ahead and upgrade. Essence is used in other stuff too. You'll need basic essence dust to make healing potions. In fact, most of the potions here, as you would expect, the higher you go up in potion level, the more essence dust you might need until the best potions at the moment, they require 500 essence dust to go ahead and make. You can break down some of the essences that you've got and this will give you more essence dust. I've got 199 tier three essence here. If I extract it, it will give me 500,000 essence dust nearly. Obviously this is because this is super, super hard to get. You don't really want to be doing that. But what you can do is go ahead and drop and then break down what you've got. And that's still going to give you a huge amount. And this goes the same for all of the essences. They can all be broken down into essence dust. Unless things change, you can't break down a tier of essence dust into the next tier, which is kind of something I want but I guess that would negate the chances of you having to go to certain realms to get essence dust. By the time you get to late game, you'd never have to visit any of the tier one or tier two realms. And it's not just potions that you use essence. You do also need it to craft certain things too. Enchantments, you'll need a ton of essence dust, as well as infusions, which are all about essence. And realm cards all rely on essence dust. So yes, absolutely the lifeblood of the game and the main thing that you'll be hoarding and trying to get more of. There are different ways to get more essence. You can play cards at a Realmic Transmuter, and some of these cards will give you more essence for every creature that you slay 
or just gathering certain resources. Things like the treasury cards, they can increase the amount of essence you find by slaying creatures and harvesting. Essence traders that you'll come across will also have resources that you can buy, and yes, you need to use various different essences to go ahead and buy some. The recipes that you'll be unlocking and buying, you can either find out in the world by completing encounters, and you've got more chance of finding the ones on that realm that are listed in the shop. So if you go to escape, guidebook, and then shop, you can actually check all the different realms and see what each essence trader will sell. But again, you can also find a lot of these unlocks by completing encounters, looting chests. So you don't really need to go and buy some of these. It's only if you just want something really quick. So what's the fastest and best way to get essence? Well, gathering resources can certainly help, as can slaying creatures, but these are only minor drops. The best way to get it is by completing the encounters. When I say encounters, I pretty much mean all of the different puzzles, the different defense points, basically the points of interest Lots and lots of them will have ways that you can earn, whether it's solving puzzles by triggering the right plinth, finding all the runes in an area, or defending against a wave of enemies. Once completed, depending on what realm level you've chosen, you will get more. If you choose realm levels to be quite easy, then you may only get 5 essence per time you complete an encounter. If you do it on extreme, you can earn up to 30 possibly each time you complete one but these numbers may adjust slightly and may be different for the full release. So, to get more essence, increase the level of the realm. Remember, you can't increase the realm level once you've gone ahead and made it. You'll have to play the cards again and make sure that you're ticking the box to change the difficulty level. As long as you played exactly the same cards that you had for that realm, if you do want to revisit it, it will open up that same realm. It only resets progress if you go ahead and click the reset button. This is important because you may really just like the idea of going around one particular realm to get lots of essence farming. You might have an abundance of cards and you just want to carry on playing them. When you reset the realm, it resets all the encounters so that you can then keep gaining more essence. If you're playing multiplayer and you clear out a realm, your friend can come follow you and they'll have a bit of an easier time. Some of the puzzles open things so like favours can be completed quicker temporary boons that you can unlock at certain POI and they'll also maybe not have to deal with certain puzzles or have to take care of certain bounds guarding some of these points of interest if you've already done it. So it's a nice way for friends to catch up with you if they're falling a bit behind. But absolutely the best way to get essence is by completing vaults. You'll find mini vaults out in the world. These will lead to what they call pastilles and these pastilles can have a variety of different types. Some rely on climbing high places to find a pool of essence as a reward. Others will be about defending a set point again or activating the runes. You usually have one or two linked together and at the end of them you may find rewards of essence. Some of these you'll have to actually go through mini portals that you'll find in realms as well to get access to. And this is the best way to go ahead and gain lots of essence quickly. Depending on what realm you're on, either tier 1, tier 2 or tier 3, that will determine how much essence you get. So it's definitely worth looting every chest you can. And then once you get to the late game, the watch, this is where you've got the major vaults. And these vaults are pretty much much bigger versions than the mini ones that you've taken part in. But they also have a boss fight at the end. This is where you can get hundreds of essence, especially obviously the tier 3 stuff. So for farming, that will be your best option to get the most epic gear. So it's a balance. Finding a realm difficulty that will give you a good enough amount of essence not take you forever to go ahead and farm and making sure that you are traveling to new realms to go ahead and complete more encounters or resetting the realm so that the encounters respawn. So far you don't get essence through crafting any items only through breaking it down finding it out in the world or defeating enemies or harvesting resources and that's as simple as it is. The lifeblood of Nightingale is about that essence grind continuously upgrading your gear unlocking new recipes this is how you're going to progress in Nightingale. Last couple of bits of info, you can share your essence, you can drop essence onto the floor and other players can pick it up. But if you die, you don't have to worry about your essence being lost in a box, it always stays with you completely. Got any questions about essence or upgrading, let me know. Go and check out the rest of my guides and I can't wait to dive into the full game proper very, very soon. Until next time, Rat Bags, laters.